Friday. I've been seeking the Lord's presence. The Lord is going to break chains today. The Holy Spirit is here to set you free today. If you come worried and troubled, if you come today so that the Lord may set you free, you have reached the best place to be. The Lord is going to do something extraordinary today. I want to ask Brother Peter to go to the bathroom. I want everyone to understand the message. We give a great welcome to all those visitors that are among us today here. With us, among us is Nelson Serrano. Nelson Serrano, he's among us. Give a big round of applause for Nelson. I praise you, Lord Jesus. The Lord wants to supply your need. I know that you are here. Perhaps they invited you. But I want to say to you. You are here because the Holy Spirit has brought you. Because the Lord has a purpose with your life. And the Lord wants to bless you. How many of you say amen? It looks like the church is waiting for something. You're more anxious than I am. Don't worry about it. It's come. It's going to come soon. The Lord's Rojas is with us. May the Lord bless you. Good morning. May the Lord supply your need today. También está Jim Burgos. Jim Burgos is with us.
He also had knowledge of the things of the Lord. And I asked the Lord that this day may be that the Lord may mark his heart and he could reconcile with the Lord. We were together for a lot of years ago. And he knows this walk. He knows that Christ loves him. He knows that Jesus loves him. He knows that we love him too. Yeah. And that we love him also. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. You know that we love each other. You know I have been deeply in my heart. For me, for the Lord, this is the greatest thing that you have for me. For me, for the church, this is great that we are here. That God supplies your needs. That God supplies your needs. For me, for the church, this is great that we are here. That God supplies your needs. That God supplies your needs. For me, for the church, this is great that we are here. That God supplies your needs. That God supplies your needs. For me, for the church, this is great that we are here. That God supplies your needs. That God supplies your needs. For me, for the church, this is great that we are here. That God supplies your needs. That God supplies your needs. And all the visitors that are among us. Prepare yourself for the life, life work for your life. A message that is going to truly lift up our hearts. How many are ready to hear the word of the Lord? With all respect and reverence. We all, I ask that we all stand for you. Que creemos que Dios es el creador, as we believe that the Lord is creator. Él es el Dios de dioses. He is the God of gods. El Señor de señor. The Lord of lords. Y buscamos en nuestras Biblias. And we look in our Bibles. En el Evangelio según San Juan. John. Capítulo 16. Chapter 16. Y vamos a considerar tres versículos. And we're going to consider three verses. El 6, el 7 y el 8. 6, 7 y 8. El Evangelio según San Juan, capítulo 16. The Word of John, chapter 16. Versículo 6, 7 y 8. Verses 7, 6, 7 y 8. Lo tenemos, amados. Does everyone have it? Si alguien no tiene una Biblia, usted que es tan amable, se puede acercar y ayudar a nuestros amigos. If no one has, there's someone that without a Bible, can you please get close to him and help our visitors with the, with the word? Para que ellos también puedan leer la palabra del Señor juntamente con nosotros. So that they may be able to read the word with us together. Lo tenemos. Do we have it? Leemos la gloriosa y poderosa palabra del Señor. We read the word of the Father. Leemos la gloriosa y poderosa palabra del Señor. We read the glorious word of the Lord. Para la gloria del Padre. For the glory of the Father. Para la gloria del Hijo. For the glory of the Son. Y para la gloria del Espíritu Santo. And for the glory of the Holy Spirit. Y la iglesia que le da gloria dice. And the church that glorifies him says what? Amen. 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 Aquí va a suceder algo especial, amado. Yo tengo un gracia por el sentimiento de lo que Dios va a hacer en este lugar. I have this feeling that something great is going to happen. No deje que nadie le quita el enfoque. Don't let no one take your focus away. Reprendemos toda malicia que quiera destorbar esta liberación que tiene hoy. We rebuke all demons that are trying to stop your blessing. Todo aquello que quiere bloquear la mente. All of those things that want to block the mind. Que quieren destorbar que esta palabra corra con poder. That wants those things that want to disturb this word from running with power. Lo reprendemos en el nombre de Jesús. We send it out of this place. Y pedimos la libertad del Espíritu. And we ask for the freedom of the Holy Spirit. Para que las personas puedan escuchar el mensaje. So that everyone may hear the message. Rompemos toda cadena. We break all bondages. Todo yugo se rompe a causa de la unción. All yokes are broken in its spirit. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Leemos la palabra. Read the word. Dice así. It says as the following. Antes. Porque yo he dicho esta cosa, tristeza ha llenado vuestro corazón. Six says, because I of you asked me, no, because I have said to look these things, you are filled with grief. Pero yo os digo la verdad. Os conviene que yo me vaya, porque si no me fuera, el consolador no vendría a vosotros. I praise you, Jesus. Verse seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. 
It is to you, your advantage, that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Y cuando él venga, convencerá al mundo de pecado, de justicia y de juicio. Praise the Lord Jesus in verse 8. And when he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. We ask that everybody raise their hand. We're going to pray. Father, I give you thanks for the consoler. Sabemos que él está aquí. We know that he is here. Para convencer de pecado. The convictors of sin. De justicia. Justice. Y de juicio. And judgment. Sabemos que él está aquí. We know that he is here. Para libertar y romper las cadenas. To set us free and break all chains. Para sanar los enfermos. To heal those that are sick. Para libertar. To set free. Para fortalecer. To give us new strength. Para darnos ánimo. To give us courage. Para ayudarnos a seguir hacia adelante. To help us so that we can continue forth. Yo te pido que en esta hora, Espíritu Santo. I ask you, Holy Spirit, in this hour. Utilice como canal de bendición. To utilize us as a blessing. Para transmitir el mensaje que usted quiere dar al pueblo. To bring in the sermon that you want to give to the church. Que esa palabra se marque en cada corazón. That this word be marked in each every heart that is here. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Te damos gloria. We give you glory. You may all have a seat before the presence of our Lord. Give the hand to the brother next to you. And tell them. There is healing for you. There is healing for you. There is comfort and healing for you. God is good. How many can say amen? Yo no sé si usted llegó a este lugar. I don't know if you've come to this place. Cargado, cansado. Father, they carry and tired. O la vida le ha dado eh, fuertemente. Or if life is hitting you very hard. Yo no sé si los tropiezos y los fracasos han traído tristeza a tu corazón. I don't know if the failures of life has brought sadness to your heart, to your life. Pero una cosa quiero decirle. But one thing I do want to say to you all. Usted llegó al lugar. We have come to the place. Donde se mueve el poder de aquel. Where the presence is moved of that person. Que sana los corazones. That heals the hearts. Que liberta el alma. That sets free the soul. Que levanta y da fuerza al cansado. That lifts us up and gives us strength to those that are tired. Usted llegó al lugar. We have come to the place. Donde usted puede descansar. Where you can rest. Donde se mueve la persona del Espíritu Santo. Where the Holy Spirit donde se mueve aquel que te ama más where that one that loves you most moves que tú mismo te puede amar that you and yourself can love yourself porque otra persona te podrá amar or another person may love you se llama Espíritu Santo it's called Holy Spirit cuando usted ve que la gente adora a Dios when you see people praising the Lord usted ve la gente llorando you see people crying la gente estremeciéndose people shaking esa es una manifestación del toque divino that is manifestation of the Holy Spirit touch es una manifestación de aquel es una manifestación de aquel que quiere darte nuevas fuerzas que quiere darte nuevas fuerzas el Señor Jesucristo Jesus Christ cuando ya estaba a punto de culminar su ministerio cuando ya estaba a punto de culminar su ministerio él empezó a aconsejar y enseñar a sus discípulos él empezó a enseñar a sus discípulos porque pronto él iba a ir a la cruz del Calvario y soon he was going to go to the cross of Calvary y iba a derramar sangre por los pecados that he's going to shed blood for the sins of the world. Gracias a Dios por ese sacrificio. I thank the Lord for that sacrifice. ¿Cuánto le dan gracia? How many people give me thanks for that? O sea, el Señor iba a dar su vida. In other words, the Lord was going to give his life. Por el mundo pecador. For the sinful world. El mundo que le dio la espalda a él. The world that gave, turned their back on him. Y la única manera. And the only manner. Que el ser humano podría ser salvo. That humanity could have salvation. Era a través de un sacrificio perfecto. Was through a perfect sacrifice. Y el hijo de Dios. And the son of God. Llamado Jesucristo. Called Jesus Christ. Dio su vida. Gave his life. Para hacer ese sacrificio perfecto. So that he could be that perfect sacrifice. Para que un niño. You and I. Pudiéramos entrar a su presencia. 
presencia so that we can enter this presence, para que usted y yo so that you and I pudiéramos entrar al cielo that we can reach heaven, para que usted y yo so that you and I pudiéramos comunión con el Padre we can have communion with the Father, para que usted y yo so that you and I pudiéramos gozarnos de una salvación tan grande that we can rejoice in a great salvation porque eso es lo más grande que hay aquí en la tierra because that is the greatest thing that is on this earth lo más grande que la tierra no es The greatest thing on this earth is not. It's not that you have a home or a palace. Or a mansion. Or a mansion. Lo más grande aquí en la tierra no es. The greatest thing on this earth is it. Usted tenga un Mercedes Benz. That you have a Mercedes. Lo más grande aquí en la tierra no es. The greatest thing on this earth that is not. Que usted tenga mucho dinero. That you have a lot of money. Lo más grande aquí en la tierra no es. The greatest thing on this earth that is not. Que usted sea la figura más figure in this world be the most handsomest guy in this world Lo más grande aquí en la tierra es the greatest thing on this earth is is that you and I Buscando fantasías en este mundo. City fantasies in this world. La palabra dice. The word tells us. No hay paz para el impío. There is no peace for the sinner. O sea, el que se aparta y el que se aleja de Dios. In other words, those that give back to the Lord. El que se aparta y se aleja de Dios. The ones that separate from the Lord, distance themselves. No tiene paz. Have no peace at all. Porque la paz está en Cristo. Because the peace comes through Christ. El que puede la verdadera paz. The one that truly gives peace. Se llama Cristo Jesús. It's called Jesus Christ. ¿Cuánto lo creen? Amén. Yes. Le estaba explicando a los discípulos. Uh, they were this, um, describing to the disciples. Que él tenía que partir, que tenía que irse, que físicamente no iba a estar con nosotros. That he had to leave, that he physically was not going to be with us. Y los discípulos se entristecieron, eh, se sintieron tristes. And the disciples felt sad. Cualquiera se siente triste, amén. Anyone would feel sad. Cuando usted tiene una persona que lo ama tanto. When you have a person that you love so much. Una persona que te está enseñando cómo vivir la vida recta. A person that's showing you how to live a direct life. Una persona que sana a los enfermos. A person that heals those that are sick. Que resucita a los muertos. That rises the dead. Una persona con tanto poder. A person with so much power. Tanto amor. With so much love. Tanta misericordia. So much mercy. Tanta compasión. So much compassion. Ahora tiene que ser separado de ellos. Now they can gotta be separated from him. Cualquiera se pone triste. Anyone would be sad. Amado, porque que no tiene la presencia del Señor. Brother, because those that don't have the presence of the Lord. Viven una constante tristeza. They live a constant sadness. La palabra dice. The word tells us. Que es la bendición de Jehová. That the blessing of the Jehovah. La que enriquece. Enriches. Y no añade tristeza con ella. And there's no sadness with it. Y en la presencia del Señor. In the presence of the Lord. Hay plenitud de gozo. ¿Cuánto lo creen? Plenitud de gozo. It's a permanent joy that the world, the world cannot take away from you. Sentence. 
Well, entonces el abogado viene y habla por usted. Then the lawyer comes and um, fights on your behalf. Lo defiende. He defends you. Lo protege. Protects you. Y no le cobra nada. He doesn't charge you. Ese es el Espíritu Santo. That is the Holy Spirit. Voy a invitar a otro como yo. I'm going to invite Send someone just as I am. He's going to console you. He's going to give you strength in this walk. Va a venir otro como yo. Another one shall come like me. Que nos va a guiar He's going to drive us a toda verdad, to all truth y toda justicia. and all justice. ¿Me escucharon bien? Did you hear me clearly? A toda verdad. All true. La única verdad en Cristo Jesús. The only truth that lies in Jesus Christ. Y de la verdadera justicia. And the true justice. A enseñarnos nosotros lo que es justo. To show us what is just. Lo que es verdadero. What is true. Ahora. Now. Quiero explicarle a ustedes. I will explain to you all. Cómo el Espíritu Santo nos consuela. How the Holy Spirit calls us. Y le voy a enseñar unos pasos. I'm going to show you a few steps. Y unos principios. And principles. De cómo el Espíritu Santo consuela nuestra vida. How the Holy Spirit consoles our lives. In primer lugar, first place, el Espíritu Santo nos consuela. The Holy Spirit comforts us. Porque nos da un sentido de permanencia y seguridad. He gives us a sense, a sense of belonging and security. Para aquellos que son de Cristo, for those that pertain to God, to Christ, el Espíritu Santo nos da un sentido. The Holy Spirit gives us a feeling. De pertenencia to belong y seguridad and security. O sea, nosotros le pertenecemos a Dios. So we pertain to Jesus Christ. No hay God. nada, no hay nada mejor que ser de Dios. There is nothing better than belonging to God. No hay nada mejor que ser hijo de Dios. There is nothing better than to be a child of God. Y no hay nada mejor que estar seguro. And there is nothing better than being secure. Romanos capítulo 8 Romans eight y versículo 14 Verse fourteen. Nos dice de esta manera. It tells us in this manner. Porque todos los que son guiados por el Espíritu de Dios, estos son hijos de Dios. Romans 8, 14. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Todos somos criaturas. We're all creations. Ay, no se enoje conmigo ahora con lo que viene ahora. Don't get upset with me with what's up about me. No se enoje conmigo, amigo. Don't get mad with me, my friend. Los que me están viendo a través de las redes sociales, no se enoje conmigo. Don't let them listen to me through the airways. Don't get upset with me. Todos somos criaturas. We are all creations. Pero no todos somos hijos de Dios. But we are all not child of children. La Biblia dice. The Bible tells us. Que todo el que practica el pecado. All of those that practice sin. I have to tell you this because I love you. Los hijos de Dios tienen que aceptar a Jesucristo como su Salvador. The children of God have to accept Him as their Savior. Tienen que vivir para Dios como dice la palabra. They gotta live for Christ as the Word. Tienen que amar a Dios con todo su corazón. They gotta call out to God with all their hearts. Con toda su mente. With all their mind. Hay gente que entra en la iglesia. Coming to the church. Que están pensando las cosas que van a hacer afuera. They're thinking about what's going to happen on the outside. La palabra dice. The word tells us. Que los que piensan en las cosas de la carne. Those that think of the things of the flesh. Que el pensar es sentir de la carne. And thinking in the thoughts of the flesh. Es muerte. It's death. Pero el ocuparse en las cosas del espíritu. But to worry about the things of the spirit. Es espíritu y paz. Es vida y paz. It's life and peace. O sea, in other words, el Espíritu nos enseña. The Spirit shows us que nosotros permanecemos, pertenecemos al Señor. That we pertain to our Lord Jesus Christ. Efesios capítulo 1. Ephesians 1. Y versículo 13 dice. Verse 13. Efesios 1, 13. Ephesians 1, 13. Dice, en él también vosotros. And he, we also. Habiendo oído la palabra de verdad. Hearing the word, the true word. El Evangelio de vuestra salvación. The gospel of our salvation. Habiendo creído en él. Believing in him. Fuiste sellado con el Espíritu Santo de la promesa. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of the promise. Usted sabe que cuando hay un producto. You know that when there is a product. Ellos lo sellan. They seal it. 
Usted sabe que cuando hay un pelotero, you know that when there is a ball player, ellos firman un contrato, they sign a contract, y le dan una camisa, they give them a shirt. Si es de los New York Yankees, if they're from the New York Yankees, que dice propiedad de, de los Yankees de Nueva York, and it says property of the Yankees of New York City. El Señor también sella lo suyo. The Lord Himself seals His home. Y le dice el diablo, este es mío. And He tells the devil, this one pertains to me. Con este no te meta. Don't mess with it. Y me dice, hijo mío, 
because it's my child. Hija mía, my daughter. Aquí estoy yo para interceder por ti. I am here to fight on your behalf. Para ayudarte. To help you. Eso lo hace el Espíritu Santo. That is what the Holy Spirit does. Nos consuela. He consoles us. Cuando intercede por nosotros. When he fights on our behalf. La carta a Judas, capítulo 1, versículo 20. Judge 120. Nos dice así, Judas 120. Judge 120 says. Pero vosotros amados, edificados sobre vuestra santísima fe, orando en el Espíritu Santo. But you, but you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. I Pero una de las cosas que tenemos que anhelar. One of the things that we have to analyze es que el Señor nos ayuda a interceder. That the Lord may help us. Que nos levante en nuestro tiempo de debilidad. That He lifts us up in our time of weakness. Dice que Él intercede por nosotros. He says, it says that He fights in our behalf. Y Él pide como por bien. And He asks, He asks for what is good for us. Porque no sabemos. As we do not know. Pero el Espíritu mismo. But the Holy Spirit itself. Intercede por nosotros. Intervenes on our behalf. Con gemidos indecibles. With crying out. O sea, de la profundidad de su corazón, amado. Depths of his heart, brother. Cuando usted no puede. When you cannot. Él sí puede. He can. ¿Cuánto dice el amén? How many say amen? You are worthy, Lord Jesus. Dice la Escritura. The Scripture tells us. En el Evangelio según San Lucas. Luke. Capítulo 2, 26. Luke 2, 26. Ya dice así, says as the following. Dice que el Señor les reveló a este anciano llamado Simeón. It says that the Lord, the Lord revealed to this elderly person that um, que él iba a ver la promesa o el deseado de la nación. That he would see the promise of the nation. Que él iba a ver al Señor antes que tuviera muerte, antes, antes que tuviera muerte física. That he would see the Lord before he physically died. Y dice el versículo 26. And verse 26 says. Que el Espíritu Santo se lo reveló. And the Holy Spirit revealed. Antes que, antes que viniera muerte para su vida. That before death came to his life. Como el Espíritu Santo nos consuela. How the Holy Spirit consoles us. Porque el Señor nos revela, amado. Because the Lord reveals to us. De antemano el Señor nos revela. Beforehand he reveals to us Lo que viene, what is coming, sea para bien, whether it be for good o sea para or it may be to protect us, para que nos cuidemos. so that we be careful. Por eso es importante, amados, that is why it's so important, que nosotros pidamos su, su ayuda, that we ask for his help y nos rindamos a él, and we lean upon him. Cuando estamos batallando en este camino, that when we are fighting in this walk, sabemos que Dios conoce el futuro. we know that he knows the future. En la segunda, en el segundo libro de Reyes, Second Book of King, en el capítulo 6, 6, vemos que se levantó un problema contra el pueblo de Israel. We see that a problem occurred for the people of Israel. En los sirios se habían levantado, the Syrians had stood up contra el pueblo de Israel, against the people of Israel. Pero en Israel había un profeta llamado Eliseo. But in Israel there was a prophet called Eliseo. Que cada vez que el enemigo iba a atacar, and every time the enemy was going to attack. Y escucha yo lo que le voy a decir que todo bajo caliente ahora. And listen very carefully because this just came to me very hard. Que cuando el enemigo iba a atacar. That when the enemy was going to attack. Cuando Eliseo estaba orando. When he was praying. El Señor le revelaba. The Lord would reveal to him. Por a, por a donde venía el ataque. Where, in which manner the attack was coming. Y él le decía al rey de Israel. And he would tell the king of Israel. Cuídate porque ellos vienen por aquel lugar. Be careful, take care because they are coming in that from that direction. The king, Israelios, empezó a decirle a la gente, started to tell people, aquí dentro hay un traidor. Within us there's a traitor. Aquí hay un soplón aquí dentro. Un soplón. Somebody leaks the stuff. You're worthy. You're worthy. Aquí hay un soplón. There's someone traitor among us. Aquí hay alguien que le está diciendo al rey de Israel, por donde nosotros lo vamos a atacar. There's someone in the middle. Tell the king of Israel which way we were attacking. And one of his soldiers. He said, it's not that matter. That there's a prophet in Israel called Israel. That the Lord reveals to him in a secret place. When you're going to attack. That 
the script, brother. The doors have opened up. The other day I was praying, brother. And today I the ones at the home. When I was praying, cayó un saco. A sack fell. Y se desataron un, un, un montón de serpientes. And uh, from the sack occurred a bunch of serpents. Y estas serpientes se empezaron a meter en los hogares. And these serpents started to come filter into the homes. Y el Señor me decía, And the Lord was telling me, Échale aceite. Put oil. I pray to Lord Jesus. Second Kings 
No, rey mío. No, my king. Sino que el profeta Eliseo está en Israel. The prophet Elijah is in Israel. Él declarará al rey de Israel las palabras que tú hablas en tu cámara más secreta. Ay, se, he reveals to the king those words that you say most secret place. Se abrieron las puertas ahora. The doors opened up. Please come. ¿Usted sabe por qué usted no recibe consolación? Do you know why it is that you do not receive consolation? Porque tenemos que dejar de murmurar y hablar lo que no tenemos que hablar. We have to stop murmuring and talking about things that aren't supposed to be talking about. Porque eso contrita el espíritu. And that saddens the spirit. Hay muchas personas apagadas espirituales. There are a lot of people that are turned off spiritually. Porque están hablando lo que no tienen que hablar. They are talking about things that should not be talked about. Porque están señalando lo que no tienen que señalar. Because they are pointing out those that they should not be talking about. He knows it over there. Todo lo que tú estás planificando. Everything that you are planning. Él lo sabe allá. He knows it over there. Y cuando nosotros, and then when we, empezamos a hacer sopa carne con el pellejo de la gente, then when we start making camel soup with the flesh of the people, él lo oye allá. He hears it up there. Y es por eso que no crecemos. That is why we do not grow. Y es por eso que no vemos la gloria de Dios. That is why we do not see the glory of God. Y es por eso que no recibimos consolación. That is why we do not receive consolation. Tendrá Dios que permitir un terremoto aquí en Ohio. Tendrá que permitir un terremoto aquí en Ohio. 
earthquake on this earth and Ohio. Para que nosotros doblemos rodillas. So that we may bend knees. O para que nosotros entendamos. So that we may understand. Que nosotros estamos en una crisis espiritual. That we're in a spiritual crisis. Tenemos que doblar rodillas. We have to bend knees. Tenemos que buscar a Dios. We have to seek the Lord. Así el Espíritu Santo nos consuela. That is how the Holy Spirit consoles us. Y es triste, amado. It is sad, brother. Sometimes you're even scared to tell people to come pray. You think that they're going to beat you down on a baseball bat. You got to put a football helmet on. To tell people to come to pray. It's like you were blessing people. It's like if you were cursing people. You are blessing people. It's like you were cursing people. You are blessing people. It's like you were cursing people. This is for your spiritual status. God. God tiene todo el poder. has all the power. Nosotros no. We don't. Nosotros necesitamos a Dios. We need God. Él no nos necesita a nosotros. He doesn't need us. Amen. Él, qué triste, amado. It is sad, brother. Que con, él no nos necesita a nosotros. He does not need us. Pero todavía te llama para, para el servicio. And he still calls you up to a place. Todavía te, te llena de gracia. He still fills you up with grace. Pero usted no se pone a la disposición de él. You do, put, you, you do not put yourself available for him. Terrible. It is terrible. El 15 dice. 15 says. De quien toma nombre toda la familia del cielo y la tierra. From whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Porque para que usted conforme la riqueza de su gloria. That he who will grant you according to the riches of his glory. El ser fortalecido con poder en el, en el hombre interior. ¿Por qué, amado? Por su espíritu. To be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. O sea, nosotros recibimos consuelo. In other words, we receive healing. Cuando fortalecemos nuestro hombre interior. When we strengthen our inner man. Hoy en día, hermano. Hoy en día, hermano. Nowadays, brother. La gente quiere fortalecer lo externo. They want to give fortress uh, gratitude to the um, outer period of the man. Quiere comprar los mejores trajes. Wants to buy the best dresses. Quiere comprar los mejores lujos. The best riches. Quiere comprar las mejores vanidades. The best um, vain things that are out there. Quiere lucir muy bien. They want to be good appearance. En las cosas de afuera. And the things of the outside. Y lo interior pudriéndose. And the interior is just rotting away. Y lo interior debilitándose. The interior is just falling apart. Hay que fortalecer el hombre interior. We have to strengthen the inner man. Así el Espíritu Santo nos trae consuelo. That is how the Holy Spirit can solve us. Usted nunca va a recibir consuelo. You're never going to receive buscando las cosas externas. Seeking those other things. Son las cosas de arriba. Are the, it's the things from above. Lo que fortalece el corazón. It gives us strength to our hearts. Amen. I praise you, Lord Jesus. La Biblia nos da ejemplos. The Bible gives an example. De gente que fueron fortalecidos. A people that were given strength. En el momento de crisis, en el momento de crisis, libro de los hechos, capítulo 6, the book of Acts, versículo del 1 al 5, verses 1 through 5, nos habla ahí de un diácono, es visto como un diácono, no cualquier diácono, no es just any old diácono, un diácono que verdaderamente amaba a Dios, a diácono que truly loved God, mire, mire el ejemplo de este diácono, look at the example that this diácono gave, para todos nosotros coger ese ese mismo ejemplo, so that we all same example. Nos dice que este diácono llamado Esteban. It tells us that deacon called Stephen. Estaba lleno del Espíritu Santo. Full of the Holy Spirit. ¿Qué quiere decir de estar lleno del Espíritu Santo? What does it mean to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Que el Espíritu Santo controla tu vida. That the Holy Spirit controls your life. Que gobierna tu vida. It governs your life. Y no 99%. Not 29%. No 99.9. Not 99.9. 100%. 100%. La palabra dice. The word tells us. Llamarás a Dios. You shall love God. Con todo tu corazón. All of your hearts. Todo es 100%. All means 100%. Hay gente que está a 50%. There are people that are at 50%. Entonces, ¿cómo vas a recibir consolación? Then how you receive consolación? 
Una de las cosas que yo no entiendo, amado. One of the things that I don't understand, brother. Y me rompe la cabeza. And it just breaks my mind. Cómo el ser humano va detrás de las cosas que que lo que trae de miseria. How people can chase things that are just going to bring misery. El ser humano que Dios le dio una inteligencia. Humanity that God had given intelligence to. Quieren ser del montón. They want to be from the group. Sale una moda, todos ellos quieren hacer lo mismo. A new style comes up, but they want to do the same thing. Sale una droga, todos ellos se quieren meter esa droga. A new drug comes out, they want to taste the drug. Sale uno bebiendo alcohol, todos ellos quieren darle a chupa chupa. And every time one starts drinking, they just want to see the drug. A little mice. 
a lo que se levante cualquier cosita. Él tiene el hecho que es un problemita que le están dando ahora el problema. Problem appears to start facing the problem. Arriba va, arriba va el problema, arriba va. Arriba va los problemas. Cualquier cosa sucede, arriba va el problema, arriba va los problemas. Cuando Dios es más grande que el problema. When God is bigger than the problem. Tenía autoridad. Had authority. Confrontó a aquellos religiosos hipócritas. He confronted those fake religious people. Y por confrontar a aquellos religiosos hipócritas. And throw because he confronted them. Empezaron aquí a lanzarle piedras. They started to stone him. Él está tremendo, hermano. Esto es verdaderamente ser fortalecido por el Espíritu de Dios. This is truly to be strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Porque cuando usted y yo conocemos que Dios nos fortalece, because when you and I realize that the Lord gives us strength, es cuando nosotros estamos en crisis. That is when we're in crisis. Cuando estamos siendo perseguidos, when we're being persecuted. Cuando la gente nos está señalando, when people are pointing at us, es que recibimos el consuelo del Espíritu Santo. When we receive the stoning of the Spirit. Y dice que empezaron a apedrearlo. They said that they started to stone him. Y cuando él estaba muriendo, se amaba. And when he was dying, brother, por causa de la cruz pedrada, cause of the stoning, él no empezó mal de decir a Dios. He didn't start to curse the Lord. Y tampoco empezó mal de decir a la gente. And he didn't start to curse at the people. Mientras cuando estaba muriendo, se lo amaba. When that man was dying, le dijo Señor, he said Lord, no le tomes en cuenta este pecado. Do not take into account the sin. Y murió. And then he died. Parece que unos cuantos aquí le metieron tres pedradas a un aquí. It seems like there's a few of us here that took on hit somebody with three stones. Está lleno de rencor. You're filled with anger. Tienes que perdonar. You have to learn to forgive. ¿Cuántas veces Dios te lo va a decir? How many times is the Lord going to have to tell you? Porque te lo ha dicho un montón de veces. Because He has told you a lot of times. Tienes que obedecerle a él. You have to obey him. Y perdonar. And forgive. Quieres recibir consuelo, tiene que perdonar. You want to receive healing, you have to forgive. Punto número cuatro, el Espíritu Santo nos defiende. Point number four, the Holy Spirit protects us, defends us. Te sabes, hermano, que en este caminar, you know, brother, that in this walk, nosotros nunca estamos solos. We are never alone. El Señor dice y dijo, the Lord says and said, que nunca los iba a dejar huérfanos. He shall never leave us. Que estaría con nosotros. And he shall be with us hasta el fin del mundo. To the end of the earth. Por eso que está aquí. That is why he's here. Por eso que usted siente lo que siente. That is why you feel what you feel. Por eso que usted siente el mover de su espíritu. That's why you feel the movement of the spirit. Porque está aquí. Amen. Y yo sé que está aquí. And I know that he's here porque nosotros estamos aquí. Because we are here. Porque fue el Espíritu Santo el que nos trajo aquí. It was the Holy Spirit that brought us here. Él se mueve en este lugar. He moves in this place. A usted se mueve en su pensamiento. Even if you get grappled up in your own thoughts. A usted no quiere prestar atención. Even if you don't want to pay attention. Él está aquí. He is here. You are worthy, my Lord Jesus. A usted tenga su mente allí en pajaritos preñados. Even if your thoughts are in little birds that are preñados. Él está aquí. He is here. Isaías 59, 19. Isaías 59, 19. Isaías 59, 19 dice 59, 19 says Y temerá desde el occidente el nombre de Jehová y desde el nacimiento del sol su gloria porque vendrá él como río mas el Espíritu de Jehová levantará bandera contra él Amado, eso es para provisión de alabanza Yo no sé cuál es su problema. I don't know which one is your problem. Yo no sé cuál es su situación. I don't know your situation. Pero él no te fiende. But he he fights on. Él levanta bandera. He lifts up the flag. Y esa es una bandera de victoria. That is a flag of victory. ¿Cuánto tiene victoria? How many are in victory? ¿Cuánto tiene victoria? How many are in victory? I praise you, my Lord Jesus. Salmo 46, uno. Psalm 46, one. Como si fuera poco para confirmar lo que le estoy hablando. It's something little to confirm what I was just saying. El salmista dijo, the psalmist said, Dios es nuestro amparo y fortaleza. God is our refuge and strength. Nuestro pronto auxilio en las tribulaciones. A very present help in trouble. Mire lo que dice Dios es nuestro amparo, amado. Look what it says. He is our strength. Es nuestra fortaleza. And our strength, refuge and strength. Nuestro pronto auxilio, amado, pronto auxilio. In our time of 
don't need a trouble. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit comforts us by bringing us hope. How many believe that Christ is coming? With all these signs of remorse, pestilence, hunger, violence, war, all types of plagues, all types of things, the devil is trying to get us to the sick, to the maggots, to the all types of maggots. With all the signs that are upon us, hunger everywhere. This nation's morality has fallen to the floor. People don't care about their own lives any longer. In this city, the heroin is just pouring the hearts of all these young people. And that is one of the things that I do not understand. How is it possible that a person can take a needle and inject this poison into the system? To try to drug their problems away. I want to tell you something, my friends. In Christ, we didn't engage in our problems. 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 That truly showed me and teach me a lesson. You know that this animal is a fierce. He took a serpent and he took a poison and he put it in his mouth. 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 He put it this bird started to fight against the serpent. And it took that serpent by the head. And it slapped up against the floor for like four times. And it killed that serpent. Then it ate the serpent like it was a spaghetti. That is how you gotta do with the problems. The problems we present them to our Lord. And then you do the problems with a spaghetti. And 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 I saw that one program and I said, wow. I'm going to try to capture and bring it to the church. See the spirit comes in us. And when the devil rises up, we smack him against the ground. And then we eat him like a spaghetti. Because what happens nowadays, we have been influenced. Por el espíritu de la gallina. With the spirit of the chicken. De cualquier problema salimos corriendo. With any little problem starters run away. Necesitamos la valentía del torre camino. We need the courage of the road runner. Que cuando se levanta el problema. That when the problem arises. Vengamos donde Dios. We come to the Lord. Para que el Espíritu Santo nos dé la fuerza. So that the Holy Spirit gives us the strength. Y le demos contra el piso el problema. That room, I gotta bring him to the church. I just imagine that room when I look at him, more happy, scary. I'm who I'm gonna be like a spaghetti. You're not worthy. You're still asleep. The Lord gives us the power. 
no para gracia, such a grace, no incluye, instructs us, no guía, guides us, no fortalece, strengthens us, y nos da fuerza, gives us strength. Usted no me lo cree. You don't believe me? Voy a firmar este punto con esta palabra. I'm going to confirm this with the word. Para que usted pueda ver. So that you can see. Lo que yo le estoy diciendo. What I am saying to you all. Dice la escritura. The scripture tells us. Y el libro de Ezequiel. Ezequiel 37. 37. Del 3 al 10. Verses 3 through 10. Dice que Dios llevó al profeta Ezequiel. It says that it took the prophet Ezequiel. A un lugar donde había un valle. To a place. An open place, a valley, a valley. Donde había un valle, a valley, de huesos secos, of dry bones. Dios lo llamó en esa misión. The Lord took him on that mission. Y Dios le dice ese que, and the Lord tells Ezekiel, ¿qué tú crees ese que en estos huesos vivirán? Ezekiel, do you think that these bones can relive? Se que parece que se quedó medio mudo y dijo, bueno, se yo lo quiero saber. Pero Ezekiel sí me dijo, bueno. Um, you, he just says, you only know. Sometimes when we see a, a, a scene like this, stays shocked. We don't know what to think about. I don't know if you're in that place right now. I don't know if you're in that place right now. It seems like if you're in that valley with a bunch of dry bones. I don't know if you're in that valley with a bunch of dry bones. If your life is like those bones in that valley that are dry, que su vida está seca. and your life is dry, y yo le al profeta, and I ask the prophet, Ezequiel, Ezequiel, estos huesos, these bones, vivirán, shall they relive? Tú lo sabes, Jehová. You know Jehovah. Le dice, he says, Profetiza, le dice, prophesies to Ezequiel himself. 37, Ezekiel 37, del 3 al 10, verses 3 to 10. El versículo 3 dice, verse 3 says, Perdón, el versículo 4, verse 4. Me dijo entonces, again he said to me, profetiza, profetiza sobre estos huesos, prophesies to these bones, y dile, and say, hueso seco, oh dry bones, oh y palabra de Jehová, hear the word of the Lord. Fire. Fire. 
No hay fuego. There's no fire. No hay actividad. There's no activities within. No hay ánimo. There's no strength. No le mires a no le no mires a esposa. Don't look at your husband. Tampoco mires a esposa ahora. Or don't look at your wife either. No hay energía. There's no energy. Aún para darle servicio al Señor. Even to give service to the Lord. No hay una alabanza en su corazón. There is not a praise within their hearts. Como que lo que predica como que no lo creen. It seems like as well as being taught. Pero cuando yo predico esto es porque yo lo vivo. It's because if I preach this is because I live it. Por eso es que me veas con tanto ánimo. That is why you see me with so much energy. Porque yo predico lo que vivo. Because I preach what I live. Para que la vida se manifieste en mí. So that life can manifest itself in me. Pero hay gente que predica lo que no vive. There are people that preach what they don't live. Están andando. They are walking. Pero muertos. But walking dead. No tienen vida. They have no life. No tienen gracia. They don't have grace. No tienen poder. They don't have power. No saben ni quién es Dios. They don't even know who God is. Te los conozco, los veo en la iglesia. You know because you see them within the church. No predicando el mensaje. I'm preaching the word. Y ellos hablando por teléfono. Talking on the phone. Eso va a tocar, eso va a tocar. That just came down nice and high. Unos hablando, some are talking, y otros escribiendo libreta, and others writing notebooks. Escribiendo a los a los novios en la iglesia, writing to the boyfriends within the church. Otros mirando mirando los especiales, others looking at the specials. Cualquiera está muerto así. Anybody would be dead in that man. Cualquiera no tiene espíritu así. Anyone would not have a spirit in that man. Cuando no tenemos interés en las cosas de Dios. When we have no interest in the things of Eso God. Eso va el espíritu. That turns off the spirit. Estamos en la iglesia. We're we're in the church. Estamos mirando el reloj. And we're looking at the watch. Mire, Dios conoce la hora mejor que usted. You know the Lord knows the time better than you and I do. Él es el dueño del tiempo. He is the owner of time. Tranquilo. Be at peace. Deje que Dios te hable. Let the Lord speak to your life. Dele la mano a su hermano. Give the hand to the brother next to you. Y dígale, no te vayas que todavía Dios no ha terminado contigo. Tell him, do not leave because the Lord has not finished with you yet. Parece que había unos cuantos que querían salir corriendo. It seems like there was a few that wanted to leave running. Aquel corre camino se comió la serpiente completa. That road runner ate that serpent completely. Aquí nosotros le vamos a hacer pedazo también. Here we're going to tear him into pieces that are here also. El versículo 9, verse 9, Ezequiel 37, Ezequiel 37, y me dijo, and he said, profetiza al Espíritu, prophesy to the Spirit, profetiza hijo de hombre, prophesy the child of man, y dir al Espíritu, and tell to the say to the Spirit, así ha dicho Jehová el Señor, the Lord of Jehovah has said, Espíritu, Spirit, ven de los cuatro vientos, come from the four winds, y sopla sobre estos huesos, and blow upon these bones, y vivirán, and they shall live. Necesitamos el soplo del Espíritu Santo. We need the wind of the Holy Spirit. Necesitamos un viento de los cuatro esquinas. We need the wind of the Lord. Of the four winds, all in this place. Necesitamos un sacudión. We need a shaking. Hay gente aquí que necesita un huracán de viento. There are people that need a hurricane in them. Para que provoque cambios en su vida. So that it may provoke a change in their life. Para que las cadenas se les rompan. So that those chains may be broken. Para que puedan experimentar una experiencia viva. So that they experience a true life. Que lo unción marque su corazón. De la luz que hizo su vida. El poder de Dios que se pone en este lugar. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. I praise the Lord. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. Jesus. Santo Dios. There are things, situations that need to change in this place. Y necesita una experiencia viva. And they need an ex life experience in their lives. Y el día dice. And ten tells us. Y profeticé. So I prophesied. Como me, ha, como me había mandado. As he had 
has he commanded me. Y entró espíritu en ellos. And the breath came into them. Y vivieron. And they lived. Y estuvieron sobre sus pies. And they stood upon their feet. Y un ejército, un ejército grande en extremo. An exceedingly great army. Eso es lo que hace el Espíritu cuando los consuela. That is what the Holy Spirit does when he consoles us. Nos pone sobre nuestros pies. He puts us upon our feet. Y nos convierte en hombres y mujeres guerreras. He converts us into men and women and warriors. En un ejército de poder. A powerful army. Porque la palabra dice que somos más que vencedores. The word says we are more than conquerors. Somos gente de victoria. We are people of victory. No somos cosas sino cabezas. We are not the tail of the head. Somos el pueblo de Dios. We are the people of God. Somos el pueblo que posee la unción. We are the people that possess the Lord. Somos el pueblo que el Espíritu Santo reina en nosotros. It's the church people that are the Holy Spirit. Sopra, 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 sopra. Sopra, sopra, sopra. Say praise to Jesus. Dios quiere sopar sobre tu vida hoy. The Lord wants to blow upon your life today. Healing for your life. Póngase sobre su pie. I ask that everyone stand. Este llamado es para ti que no tienes a Cristo. This calling is for those that do not have Christ as a Savior. Yo sé que escuchaste el mensaje. I know you heard the message. No caudiste en tu pensamiento. Don't dwell on your thoughts. Corre, el altar se abre rápido. Corre en frente de otros por orden. Reconcilia tu vida con Dios. Resolve your problems. Reconcilia tu vida con Dios. Reconcile your life with the Lord. No dejes para mañana. Dios bendiga esta vida. Vamos a ministrar a este pueblo. We're going to minister to this church. 